Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY and also the CME's chart because we have some very important price action going on. And also remember that we still have this Bybit special bonus going on. If you register with my referral link that you find down below here in the video description, then you can get up to $180 completely for free if you put a deposit of at least 0.1 Bitcoin. So you have to register with my link down below here to Bybit, put this voucher code in the rewards hub and you can get this extra bonus is only valid until the end of this month so definitely go and take this free money as long as they offering it and remember that the, all the bonuses are only here to trade here on Bybit so you cannot withdraw that money so you have to trade with it here and, and since it looks like that we are heading into a big move in the Bitcoin price I think it is very worth to get this bonus and have a free trade out of it. And now my friends, let's start here in the one hour time frame in the spot chart because currently Bitcoin is trading again above the 20 and 50 moving average in the one hour. So here in the lower time frames, it looks like that Bitcoin could be heading here towards our next main resistance level of around $13,400. The problem is only that also the DXY is looking like it wants to push further up, maybe towards the 200 moving average. And the thing is here also that currently we have a little gap here in the DXY. So I think it is very likely that we will come down to close this gap in the DXY before maybe we continue to push higher or maybe here at the 200 moving average we are getting rejected and then start to plunge again and that of course would mean that we're gonna see a continuation here in the Bitcoin price to the upside and I think that this is not looking like that we're gonna top out here and we're gonna crash again towards 12k instantly here in the Bitcoin price it looks like that we could see here continuation to the upside potentially towards 14,000 before maybe any kind of pullbacks so we have some warning signs in the lower time frames, but I don't think that this is it. So I don't think that this is going to be a local top here and we're going to start a correction potentially towards 12K. In my opinion, we will see most likely continuation to the upside, but we have to see what will happen in the next couple of hours because here in the one hour, it looks like that we could see a potential correction here and a pump in the DXY since the DXY is looking again more bullish at least towards here the 200 moving average in one hour and there we're gonna have to see if you're able to break this moving average or not. So currently I'm expecting here a potential little pullback before maybe continuation to the upside in the Bitcoin price. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band here, also you can see that currently we are trading on the top area and it also looks like that we're starting here a potential correction towards $13,000 and potentially also go lower since we are squeezing again in this tiny little channel. So the one hour time frame currently is a bit hard to predict, but as I told you, most likely we're gonna see a short lift pullback and then continuation to the upside. Here in the four hour time frame, you can see that currently we are trading along the 20 moving average. So as long as we're closing four hour candles above $13,000, we should be heading to the upside. So watch out here for the most important time frame here for the short term, the four hour, because in case that we're starting to close four hour candles below $13,000 or even worse or below $12,800, I'm targeting here this 50 moving average at $12,500 or potentially even $11,300 here where the 200 moving average is lining up. Because if you go over into the DXY, you can see that currently also here we are building up kind of a momentum to the upside. We are closing our four hour candles also above the 20 moving average. And here I'm expecting continuation to the upside to at least test the 50 moving average, maybe even the 200 moving average up here at our main resistance. It is also possible that here we're gonna create a W pattern, which could take us straight towards the main resistance here. But overall, as long as we are not breaking here this main resistance, resistance here this green line we are still trending to the downside and we should expect here big rejection and now we can also have a look into the CME chart because the CME chart here in the Bitcoin price is still looking way more bullish in my opinion than in the spot chart at least for now because here we are still far away from the 20 moving average so here we could even see a drop towards 12,800 before maybe we're gonna see another leg to the upside and that's why I think maybe we're gonna see a short-lived dump here before continuation to the 
upside also you can see that the 200 moving average is lining up here perfectly at our main support right at eleven thousand one hundred dollar so if we're gonna see here a bigger correction this is where i probably gonna scale in some longs and also buy some more bitcoin even though there is still the risk that we could lose this support but at least this would be a perfect buy entry and if we go over into the bollinger band you can see that currently we are also here squeezing in this tiny channel we are currently trading on the upper area but basically we have a trading range of 13,200 down to 12,850 before we could see a real breakout here we have stochastic oversold now shifted to the upside this could indicate that we're gonna see a pump here pretty soon but since macd and kst are still shifted to the downside i'm expecting here first this little dump potentially coming up in the next couple of hours before we're gonna have here a bullish cross again and then start to have maybe continuation towards fourteen thousand dollar because i'm still pretty confident that we will see fourteen thousand maybe even higher prices before a major pullback because also if you have a look into the daily time frame this is not looking like it wants to stop here it looks like that we could see a final push to the upside at least towards fourteen thousand dollar maybe even break it to the upside but since all indicators are looking a bit exhausted especially here the rsi and also in my own indicator there is a sell signal hitting right now it's not yet confirmed and also if we go over into the dxy you can see that here we still have some room left to the upside here we still don't have any kind of sell signals and that's why i think we still have a little bit of room left before maybe we could see a potential pullback and in that case my target would be first see the 20 daily moving average right at 12k or potentially even go lower towards the 50 daily which right now is at 11,100 dollar and remember that there we still have some very small cme gaps the 200 daily moving average here on the spot chart is right at 10,000 dollar so of course the higher we are bringing this moving average the better it is and in case of a bigger correction then this of course would be the most important support to hold here the 200 daily moving average currently at ten thousand dollar and if we compare it to the dxy here you can see that currently we are trading below all the moving averages and even though we could see a potential breakout out of this falling wedge to the upside the 200 daily moving average is currently here at 96.70 so this is my worst case scenario that the dxy could break out here to the upside and potentially top out here at the 200 daily moving average i think this would bring also the bitcoin price potentially again towards 10k maybe even a bit lower but as long the dxy is not breaking out out of this pattern here to the upside or to the downside i think we're gonna stay in this price range also in the bitcoin price just moving sideways maybe a little bit ups and downs but not any kind of moves like 30 40 percent as long as the dxy is trading within this tiny range that we are in currently so the dxy is about to break out here pretty soon and we're gonna see in which direction because i still think there is a high chance that maybe we could break out to the upside before we confirm again that the dxy is still in a bear market and is getting rejected here from the 200 daily moving average if you have a look into the rsi and my own indicator you can see that currently it looks like that we could form here a potential bottom and we could get a buy signal pretty soon but we also could see continuation to the downside here potentially towards 91 dollar before we're gonna bottom out here and maybe start here the attack to the upside but overall the dxy is very very weak and if we're gonna see such a breakout to the upside i think it's gonna be very short lift and now before we go over into the weekly time frame let's have first a look into the daily bollinger band here because currently we are retracing after overshooting it to the upside and it looks like that we are coming very close here to the two moving averages here between 12,600 and 12,000 dollar so i think if we're gonna see a pullback probably we're gonna bottom out somewhere between these two moving average before we're gearing up here for another big leg to the upside because here we still have KSC and MACD shifted to the upside only stochastic is looking a bit toppy but overall the daily is still looking very good and if we have a look into last week's close you can see that we closed successfully above the last high of 12,500 dollar same like also we had here in the cme chart so bitcoin is looking very bullish for the long term we are currently in territory where bitcoin didn't trade 
for a very long time and also in the past this acted always like a good place to open up shorts but as you can see currently we are not seeing any kind of a sell-off nothing so it looks like that the people are stopping to short Bitcoin and this is also what I recommend you very much that you should try to catch good long positions and try to buy every dip that is coming because as soon as we're gonna break this area here you can see that we don't have much price action above of us so in theory breaking $13,500 will bring us straight towards $16,000 and that's why I think if we are able to push towards 14k it is also likely that maybe we will go higher towards 16 thousand dollar and there maybe have a little pullback towards 12k or something like this that is possible because so far since bitcoin topped out here 20k in 2017 we had a lot of price action below 13,000 down to three thousand dollar but above it's kind of no man's land we just traded a couple of weeks above 13k and that's why i think once we're gonna break this significant resistance we're gonna go very fast to the upside and even though there will be pullbacks it's still better to look for longs than shorts and that's why my friends be very careful if you're trying to short the tops here better wait for good long opportunities it will be also better if the price is falling that you are able to buy even more cheaper bitcoins if the trade is going to the other direction and here you can also see the 20 moving average right now is here at our main support of 11,000 dollar of course the weekly is starting to also to look a bit exhausted here we have the rsi in overbought condition maybe we could even get here a bearish divergence since the rsi is still in the same level and we have a higher high in the price so be aware that there could be also pullbacks here maybe even down towards nine thousand dollar before we definitely going to start the big huge bull run like we had in 2016 2017 i will definitely not take any profits out at these stages but i will try to accumulate even more bitcoin if we're gonna see a potential crash to the downside even though at the moment it is very unlikely and if we have a look into the bollinger band you can see that here currently we are trading right at the top so pull back even down towards our two moving averages here between 11,400 and 10,800 is still in the cards and in the worst case scenario if the dxy is really starting to push hard to the upside the target here to the downside could be even down here towards 8,500 dollar because this is the bottom here of the bollinger band and this of course is also still in the cards and easily to get re if the DXY is really starting to pump. I think it is very unlikely but possible and since also we could go towards $9,000 I think this is still possible because this is also where we had previously this huge resistance that came down and right now it should be the new support and it is still not yet tested i think for a worst case scenario it is very likely that we will reach a 9k potential even go lower towards the 200 weekly moving average which currently is at seven thousand dollar but as i told you my friends very very unlikely but keep that price levels in mind if we're gonna see such a scenario so in the last chart that i want to have a look is the monthly time frame because we didn't look at this chart for a very long time now and I think the monthly is starting to look really bullish, my friends. We are potentially closing this month at the highest point of the year. Only this high that we had here in June 2019 was higher. So if we are able to go higher than 14,000, we would have broken also this high that we had over here at 14K. And the only two months that we closed or at least traded higher was in 2017 when we topped out here at 20K. And that's why my friends, this monthly time frame is looking very very bullish and we should expect here big continuations to the upside and if you have a look here into the 20 monthly moving average you can see that it's lining up with our main support right here at nine thousand two hundred dollar so this price level makes absolutely sense in case of a big meltdown if the dxy is really breaking out to the upside that the price could potentially retrace even down towards nine thousand two hundred and that would be a huge correction in the bitcoin price of course for the long term it wouldn't change anything but this of course would let panic sell a lot of people and that's why my friends make sure that you're able to buy bitcoin if the price is dropping towards 
this level so never be all in into an asset always keep a little bit of cash on the sideline to be able and flexible also to buy such kind of dips because they could of course happen bitcoin is still looking very bullish but such kind of corrections are always possible and in that case my target is still here to reach this 9k area before maybe we're gearing up here for a big move to the upside so i'm prepared for this worst case scenario but i definitely not going to take out any kind of profits i'm only gonna accumulate more bitcoin if we see such a scenario but if we start to moon rocket from here then i'm okay with that and i don't have to FOMO in and in that situation you also should be my friend so make sure that you have accumulated already now enough Bitcoin. So with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up. Don't forget to moon up the likes on this video and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also you can participate to my Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 1000 subscribers and also if you need any kind of trading exchanges down below here you find the exchanges that I recommend you and also with my sign up links you can get some bonuses and also feel free to join my discord trading chat is completely for free everyone is welcome we have a great community over there and also if you want to get access to my own indicator live stream that you can watch 24 7 you can contact me over on discord so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye